Hi, Amy. Hi. Amy. Oh, did you hear me? Wait for a while. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay, today we're going to have a test. A regular test, okay? We will be okay. having a regular test today, okay? So for now, teacher will share the yeah. no paper test today. Regular test, okay? Okay, Amy. So for now, teacher will have a test. So all I have to do, I will record your scores. Yeah. Amy, yeah. Okay. So now, Amy, teacher will take note. Okay, look up here. T teacher Ann will take note your answer. Please answer. Okay, you will have to underline or whatever. And then teacher will take note your, your answer. Okay. Now, let uh, this is a test. So therefore, you will not ask a lot of questions to teacher because I will I will check your answer and I will send it to you tomorrow. Okay? Okay, we have three tests. Listening, speaking, and reading. Okay? Let's have first the listening. Okay? Are you ready? Ready, Amy? Ready? Yes. Okay. Listen. Sorry. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Here's a picture of the farm that we went to on our school trip, Mum. It's great! Who's that person? The man who's coming out of the field? With the water? That's Paul. He's the farmer's son. Oh, he looks busy. He was. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Is that one of your classmates? The child that's with the sheep? Yes, her name's Claire. She's feeding them. That's nice. They're very young. Yes. They were only six weeks old, I think. T. 
two. And there's Jack. He's walking up the top field to see the cows. Look. Oh, yes. Was he afraid of them? Cows are huge animals. Well, he took a photo of them with his tablet and then came back down again very quickly. OK. Three. And I talked to that person. He knew a lot. He helps on the farm. Do you mean the man who's building that wall? Yes. He's called Peter. Oh. He often has to fix the walls. They fall down a lot. Four. Who's that on the horse? Let me think. Oh, I know. That's Zoe. It was her first riding lesson. Did she enjoy it? Yes. I'd like to try that one day too. Me too. Five. And can you see the woman who's carrying the vegetables? No. Where is she? Behind the tractor. She's called Julia. Oh, yes. How do you know her name? She talked to us about growing different things. She was really nice. We had a great day there. Good. Now listen to part one again. One. Is that one of your classmates? The child that's with the sheep? Yes. Her name's Claire. She's feeding them. That's nice. They're very young. Yes. They were only six weeks old, I think. Two. And there's Jack. He's walking up the top field to see the cows. Look. Oh, yes. Was he afraid of them? Cows are huge animals. Well, he took a photo of them with his tablet and then came back down again very quickly. OK. Three. And I talked to that person. He knew a lot. He helps on the farm. Do you mean the man who's building that wall? Yes. He's called Peter. Oh. He often has to fix the walls. They fall down a lot. Four. Who's that on the horse? Let me think. Oh, I know. That's Zoe. It was her first riding lesson. Did she enjoy it? Yes. I'd like to try that one day too. Me too. Five. And can you see the woman who's carrying the vegetables? No. Where is she? Behind the tractor. She's called Julia. Oh, yes. How do you know her name? She talked to us about growing different things. She was really nice. We had a great day there. Good. That is the end of part one. Amy, one more. Amy, one more, Amy, one more. Yeah. Okay, please. Oh, no, no, no. Listen carefully. Amy, by the way, I write your answer here. Okay, I write because I will check later. Okay, lesson. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Here's a picture of the farm that we went to on our school trip, Mum. It's great. Who's that person 
The man who's coming out of the field. With the water? That's Paul. He's the farmer's son. Oh, he looks busy. He was. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Is that one of your classmates? The child that's with the sheep? Yes. Her name's Claire. She's feeding them. That's nice. They're very young. Yes. They were only six weeks old, I think. Two. And there's Jack. He's walking up the top field to see the cows. Look. Oh, yes. Was he afraid of them? Cows are huge animals. Well, he took a photo of them with his tablet and then came back down again very quickly. OK. Three. And I talked to that person. He knew a lot. He helps on the farm. Do you mean the man who's building that wall? Yes. He's called Peter. Oh. He often has to fix the walls. They fall down a lot. Four. Who's that on the horse? Let me think. Oh, I know. That's Zoe. It was her first riding lesson. Did she enjoy it? Yes. I'd like to try that one day, too. Me too. Five. And can you see the woman who's carrying the vegetables? No. Where is she? Behind the tractor. She's called Julia. Oh, yes. How do you know her name? She talked to us about growing different things. She was really nice. We had a great day there. Good. Now listen to part one again. One. Is that one of your classmates? The child that's with the sheep? Yes. Her name's Claire. She's feeding them. That's nice. They're very young. Yes. They were only six weeks old, I think. Two. And there's Jack. He's walking up the top field to see the cows. Look. Oh, yes. Was he afraid of them? Cows are huge animals. Well, he took a photo of them with his tablet and then came back down again very quickly. OK. Three. And I talked to that person. He knew a lot. He helps on the farm. Do you mean the man who's building that wall? Yes. He's called Peter. Oh. He often has to fix the walls. They fall down a lot. Four. Who's that on the horse? Let me think. Oh, I know. That's Zoe. It was her first riding lesson. Did she enjoy it? Yes. I'd like to try that one day, too. Me, too. Five. And can you see the woman who's carrying the vegetables? No. Where is she? Behind the tractor. She's called Julia. Oh, yes. How do you know her name? She talked to us about growing different things. She was really nice. We had a great day there. Good. That is the end of part one.
Okay? Okay, now let's move. Okay? Okay, next move. Okay, listen for this. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Which teacher gave you that book, Vicky? He's called Mr. Story. Mr. Story? It's a great name for a teacher, I think. Yes, it is. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. It's my new English book, Dad. What's it called, Vicky? It's called The Gate. You spell that G-A-T-E. It's fantastic. Ooh, The Gate. That's a good name. Two. Is this for your favorite lesson on Fridays? Yes, the lesson on Friday is always the best. Why? Because we talk a lot. Oh. <laughs> Three. How many pages are there in your book? Lots. There are 98. Look. Wow, 98. But on the last 10 pages, there are only songs. Four. Well, what's the first part of the book about? The weather. Isn't it boring to read about that? No, I like learning about the weather because it's different in different countries. Oh, okay. Five. And have you got to do some homework today? Yes, I've got to write about a picture in the book. Which picture? This one of the mountains? Not that one, this one. Look, it's a rainbow. A rainbow. Wow, it's beautiful. Now listen to part two again. One. It's my new English book, Dad. What's it called, Vicky? It's called The Gate. You spell that G. A. T. E. It's fantastic. Ooh, the gate. That's a good name. Two. Is this for your favorite? Oh, sorry. Lesson on Fridays? Yes, the lesson on Friday is always the best. Why? Because we talk a lot. Oh. <laughs> Three. How many pages are there in your book? Lots. There are 98. Look. Wow, 98. But on the last 10 pages, there are only songs. Four. Well, what's the first part of the book about? The weather. Isn't it boring to read about that? No, I like learning about the weather because it's different in different countries. Oh, okay. Five. 
And have you got to do some homework today? Yes. I've got to write about a picture in the book. Which picture? This one of the mountains? Not that one. This one. Look, it's a rainbow. A rainbow. Wow, it's beautiful. That is the end of part two. Number five, what's your answer for number five? Rainbow. Okay, so we have here Amy the reading and writing. Okay, you look at the picture, look at here. You look at the picture. Okay, can you see what is in the picture? Your task in task three, reading and writing task three, you have to answer, read and answer. Opposite the park station, there is a park. So look at park station, there is a park. What can you see in the sky? In the sky, you can see a cloud and helicopter. So these are the answer. All you have to do, Amy, is to look at the picture, okay? Answer now, number one. Okay. Number two. Okay. It's the little boy.
Oke. You write two sentences about the picture. Look at the picture, Amy, and write two sentences about it.
Okay. Now here, Amy, in task four, you will have to read the text. Oh, please read the text and choose the best answer. Okay, like this. This is an example. Hi, Vicky. Is that your new comic? The answer is? Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, letter B. Okay. Yes, okay. You in circle only. Just in circle, okay? What are you? Okay, teacher is copying your answer because I will check it later. Oh, wait, before. Okay. Okay. Now, Amy, let's go to speaking. Let's go to speaking. Okay. I will ask you some question and please try to answer. Okay. You have here. Okay. Just a minute. Look at the picture. Okay. In the picture, try to tell me the difference. Again, in the picture, please try to tell me the difference what is the difference in the picture okay. Okay. please try to tell me okay oh you speak Okay. 
Ayo karena tuh enggak deh gitu kayaknya Oh. Okay, what is the difference, Amy? Please tell me the difference. Okay, you tell me now the difference. What is the difference? You speak up, Amy. Okay. Okay, Amy, what is the difference? You speak now, speak. The car, why? Why the car? Okay, very good. He is sitting and he is standing. What else? The cow. The cow. This, the picture. One. Okay, I guess one. One, two, uh, two, three. Okay, the picture one has two. Two cows. Yeah. The the what? Uh, picture one is a three cow. Plus little plus picture two is two cow. Okay. Okay. You look. Uh, look the sky. Picture two. Picture two has a. Okay. What else? No more? Okay. 
Okay. Now okay. let's move to. That's finish. Finish. Yes. Okay. Now let's move to task two. In task six, you will have here about the story. All you have to do is to continue the story. Next, it's Claire's birthday today. She's coming home from school. She's thinking about all her present. Okay. Okay. Look at this. This is Claire. Claire is thinking about the present. Now, you continue what happened. Number two, number three, and number four. First, you continue number two. Number two, she go to Amy, louder your voice, loud. Number two. Yes. She. Is quick. Okay. Parents and she very happy. Okay, it's very happy. Talk to me okay, for a while, Amy. Just a minute. Okay, your answer. This is about Claire's birthday. Okay, you have yeah. to about what happened to Claire's birthday. Very good. Okay, you've got number two. I sorry. Okay, so you've got number. Sorry, sorry. That's finished. So you've got number two here in task six, number two. What happened? Number three. You told me about this. Number four. Do you think Claire is happy? He's very happy. Okay, very good. So now, Amy, teacher Anne will check this one and I will send the result tomorrow. Tomorrow, I will let you know what's your scores. Okay? Tomorrow. Okay. So, by the way, Amy, listen to teacher. Are you available tomorrow at 8 p.m.? Tomorrow, we will have class tomorrow because you did not go to class three. Three classes, you were absent, three. So how about tomorrow? You ask your mom if you can have class tomorrow, 8 p.m. Please ask it now, okay? I will wait. Uh, in the morning, what, uh, in the morning, are you free? What time are you free in the morning? No. Night time, night. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. night. Night. Oh, 8 p.m. You tell your mom now. You tell your mom. Okay, okay. Have you checked 
Oh, please tell your mom that we will have class tomorrow 8 p.m. Okay? Okay, Amy? I will wait you tomorrow. Don't be absent, okay? Because I will have give you the result of the test, okay? Tomorrow, 8 p.m., okay? Okay. Okay, Amy, okay now? Tomorrow, 8 p.m.? Okay. Okay, okay. So, I will tell. Please tell your mom that we will have class tomorrow 8 p.m. Tomorrow Sunday. Yeah. Okay, Sunday okay. 8 p.m. because you have three absent. And the other class, I will just tell it to your mom. Okay, if you have, uh, if you have time, what day are you free, Amy? What day? Because we need to have three classes, make-up class. Amy, we need to have three make-up class. Tomorrow one, so only two left. What time are you free? I mean, what days? Monday, Tuesday, what? Tuesday and Friday, I'm free. Ah, Tuesday. So, what time in Tuesday are you free? 8 p.m. 8 p.m. I will check for a while. Oh, I have class at 8 p.m. in Tuesday, Amy. Night. 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 8 p.m. Tuesday. Night. Okay. How, uh, uh, I'm not free at 8 p.m. on Tuesday. How about 9 p.m. Tuesday? Can you do it? 9 p.m. I don't know. No, 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 Amy. It's too late. Friday, Amy, are you free? What time are you free on Friday? 8 p.m. Tuesday. How about 9 p.m. Friday? Can you do it? It's 8 p.m. Tuesday. Oh, you are not... Uh, Saturday. Okay, 8 p.m. on Friday. You want it 8 p.m. Friday? Okay, so 8 p.m. on Friday, you will be free and... Um, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 8 p.m. Friday, it's okay. Okay, uh -oh. Amy? Okay? Okay. Okay. So I will have to tell you, okay, 8 p.m. on Friday, okay. And, okay, wait. Tomorrow, na 8 p.m. Tomorrow, 8 p.m. Friday, 8 p.m. Okay? Okay, Amy? Okay, bye-bye, Amy. Bye-bye, teacher. I'll see you tomorrow, 8 p.m. Bye-bye. Tomorrow, 8 p.m. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Tomorrow, 8 p.m. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>